Hi, I'm April Hunter, and thank you for submitting your questions to my Q&A. I should let you know right now, I am not wearing pants. Didn't see the need. Up until yesterday, I wasn't wearing makeup, like, I don't know, for five weeks or so. Eh, you know, why wash your hair? It's just, it's, there's no point. Anyway, with quarantine, um, I thought it would be fun to do a QA and a and you guys uh, asked some interesting questions and some stupid ones. Um, so uh, I'll try and tackle um, as many of those as I can. <laughs> so um, one of the questions was, would you rather relive your best match or rework your worst one? Okay, first of all, I have so many bad matches out there, I wouldn't even know where to begin. And all of them are posted on YouTube, like every single one of them. My good stuff, I don't know, it's either taken off YouTube or it's only for pay-per-view from whoever filmed it. So um, I would be working until about, I don't know, 2045 if I was going to rework my bad matches. So I guess I'd rather relive my best match for whatever that one is, whatever your opinion that is. And... Yeah, I have my clothes on for that one. Um, I was asked what the best five books I've read are or influenced by. Um, I don't know if I have five. I read all the time, and there are so many good books out there. Um, I could go back to, like, Judy Bloom, but um, there's, there's a ton. But the ones that I love right now, and by the way, Thank you, Kathy Owens, for my corgi cup. How cute is that? So, mm, mm. so this this is my number one go-to book. Um, I don't know if you can read that. It is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. I give this away to people all the time. Not my own copy, fuck you. Um, but this basically says, you know, you steal from one person, it's plagiarism. You steal from a bunch of people, you're creative. And it is a very easy read. It is very creative. It's inspiring. And if you are a creative person, it, it really helps. It's, it's, I would advise anyone who's a creator to have this book. Um... Courage, The Joy of Living Dangerously by Osho. Uh, some people call him a cult leader. I think people that don't understand like to throw labels around like conspiracy theorist or whatever. Um, pro wrestler. Anyway, so um, this is a really interesting book that has a lot of outside the box thinking and is very spiritual and it takes from all of the religions and kind of takes the bullshit out and kind of boils it down into something interesting. Um, it's not for the weak of heart. Um, another book that I really liked is The Geography of Bliss. This is an NPR writer, Eric Weiner. I hope I'm saying that right. And the reason it was interesting is that in America, we aren't really taught how to be happy. We just kind of think it's going to happen. It's kind of like we're more into the wedding than we are the marriage. We just think it's going to work. Um, so a lot of us sort of, I mean, recently there's more awareness, but a lot of us think that it's kind of our constitutional right to be happy. It's even in there. And we don't know how to be happy. We don't know. It's, it's, it's how you choose to respond to things. It's it's how you see things. It's, you know, like a soccer game happens and half the feel, half the people leave happy and the other half don't. It's, it's how they see it. Um, it's, it's wanting what you have. So he does a study and he goes to all the happiest countries and tries to understand how. <laughs> how in the blue fuck they're happy. And then he goes to Moldova, the most unhappy country, and tries to figure that one out as well. And it's, it's, it's very interesting. It gives you a different perspective on a lot. And another that made a significant uh, impression was Mouse. Um, it, to me, shows that you can tell a very compelling, very important story 
as a graphic novel with humor. So um, I've always liked humor to deflect. I use it all the time. If you are on my Instagram page, you are well aware of that. Um, I get busted on all the time for making fun of very serious issues, but truly I'm not taking them less seriously. I am just, you know, if you don't laugh, you'll cry sometimes. So sometimes it's better to laugh. It doesn't mean that it's not important. And such is the case with Mouse. So I like that. I like that comedians will do that too. Um, use humor to bring attention to important things. So there's the answer to that question. Um, and we will continue shortly. And thank you for submitting. I just, before I go on to the next part, I want to say thank you to the fans watching. Thank you to you guys who support my sites, come out to my appearances when I have them. Um, you know, back when that happens, who purchase from my pages and my Etsy store and who are just, you know, amazing. And for those of you who are not amazing, off with you. But the rest of you, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll continue this after I get some chai tea or cappuccino. I need, I need something. I need something. You know, just shy of cocaine, but stronger than your average coffee. So, in a minute.